Hello, my name is Gail Morton, and I'm going to show you how to use PubMed for athletic training. I'm going to scroll down. This time I'm going to go into databases. If I know the exact name of the database, I get this alphabetical list. I'm going to PubMed. I'm just going to click on the T's for PubMed. And I think it's down here. Here it is at the bottom. This is National Library of Medicine search engine. I'm going to do a simple search in here. Okay, some of the features in here, pretty good. Some of the articles in here are free, so they're open access. Some of them are not. The ones that are not, we can get them for you through interlibrary loan. Bring your attention well over here to the left. So I can see my results here. With the latest 10 years, I've got 1,518. I could limit, I'm just going to leave those open. You notice how there's no peer reviewed on here? It's because they're all peer reviewed or they're all reviews. Or the books too, so it's, we don't find like magazines in here. Um, you can look at clinical trials, you can look at meta analysis, you can look at here's this, uh, this is Mac reviews. You look at all this and limit. Okay, let's just see about this. I'm just going to click on one, I can find it. Here, I'll click here and find it at Mercer. But here it is. Here's the citation tool. Okay. Here's the format. Let's just switch it. And it's not correct. I mean, the information is there, but the format of it is wrong. So you can copy and paste that, just change the format. Over here, we've got title and authors. Here's the abstract. Similar articles. At the bottom, there's some similar articles too. Uh, publication types. Um, these are medical subject terms, those mesh terms. Some more research terms that you can use and link out. So we've got clinical key, clinical key, Elsevier, Ovid. This is how you do simple search using PubMed for athletic training.